Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving the activity of a radioactive source. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering a theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a radioactive source produces 300,000 decays in a period of 10 minutes. Calculate the activity. Well we need to write down what we know from the question, so we're trying to find the activity A. We know the number of decays is 300,000 and the time is 10 minutes, but we need to convert that time from minutes into seconds, so we need to times 10 by 60 and we get 600 seconds. Then we can write down our equation relating activity, number of decays and time, which is A equals N over T. Substituting in the numbers gives us 300,000 divided by 600, and if you put that into your calculator, we should get an answer of 500 becquerels. Question 2 says a radioactive source has an activity of 100 becquerels. How many decays occur in 2 minutes? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find how many decays, so that's n. We know the activity A is 100 becquerels and the time is 2 minutes. But again, we need to convert from minutes into seconds, so 2 times 60 gives us 120 seconds. Writing down the equation again, we have A equals N over T. Rearranging for N this time, we need to multiply both sides by T to get rid of this on the denominator, so that gives us N equals A times T. Substituting in the numbers now, we get 100 times 120, which gives us a final answer of 1.2 times 10 to the 4 when we write it in scientific notation. Notice as well that there's no units here. Question 3 says that the activity of a radioactive source is 500 becquerels. If the count rate was measured to be 12,000, how long was the source decaying for the measurement to be taken? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the time. We know the number of decays is 12,000, and we know the activity is 500 becquerels. So writing down our equation, we have A equals N over T. Rearranging for time now, we can cross multiply, which is the same as swapping the A and the T. So we end up with T equals N over A. And substituting in the numbers gives us 12,000 divided by 500, which, if you put into your calculator, should give an answer of 24 seconds. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.